Good morning, YouTube, I guess. It is too early. Even though it's nine o'clock in the morning, it is too early. I'm just doing morning routine, letting the rabbits out. <clears throat> As you can tell, I literally just woke up. So yesterday was quite a bumpy day. Um, I was hit with a major depression wave that took up basically the whole entire day. And so tried figuring out what could help it and thought I might just vlog about it today. I don't know. They're very happy. I kind of want to like talk about yesterday. So I have only recently, or not recently, but like I've only developed like actual depression in the last like maybe two years. I've never had it before until then. I know what started it, not gonna talk about that. But now every now and then, um, there's like random triggers that out of nowhere um, that just kind of like cause, not like, I don't want to call it like an episode, but just kind of cause a wave. I call it waves because, you know, they come and go and whatnot. And what happened, what started this wave was that really famous or really popular thing on the internet where somebody asks what is the answer to a math question that's like six divided by two times in like the little parentheses, parentheses um, thing with like one plus two in it. And so taking exactly what I learned in school, I got the answer of one. But then you look in the comments and everyone's fighting whether it's like one or nine. And everybody's fighting, everybody's saying two different things, that multiplication comes before division, or you go fr from the equation from left to right and do it how that is. I've actually never heard of that method, the second one where you go from left to right. I was taught in school all the way to high school and in a college math class that you multiply first and then division and then you do addition and then subtraction. That's how it was on the tests. That's how it was just always been ever since you know, I've been in school, you know, that's how they always taught us. If we did it any other way, we get the answer wrong. Like you do this tax test and then it changed to star test and you do any of that. And if you, if you were to divide first and then multiply, you would get the answer wrong, basically. And it get marked off wrong is what I mean. Not that the answer is actually wrong, but it, you would get marked off wrong. And seeing that all these people were saying you divide or in the math equation, you would divide first and then do the multiplication because you're supposed to do from left to right. I was really confused and so I looked it up. So I don't know when this happened or when, I have no idea, but I looked it up and the order of operations have changed. So some time, I don't know when, if it was recently, if it was only just a few years ago, or if it's been that way for a while, because like some of the people on the internet are saying like it's always been this way, but that's a complete lie. Um, the order of our operations have changed. Instead of saying that uh, multiplication should go first before division, they're just saying just solve the problem from left to right now. Just starting with multi or with the multiplication and division, and then once you complete all that, then you go to addition and subtraction. But again, go from left to right. And they're saying it's like, what makes multiplication um, more important than division? And whatever. That's a pretty stupid excuse, just because it's like at that. What about the whole oper or order of operations? What about the whole order of operations where, you know, you have to do parentheses, then exponents, and then multiplication and division? What makes parentheses and exponents more powerful or more important than multiplication and division? That's a stupid argument, so don't start there. But apparently, order of operations have changed, and the best part is, not all places in the U.S. teach it the same way. So in some parts of the U.S., apparently one of them is where I lived, they will teach multiplication before division and then ad addition before subtraction. And then other places will teach it from left to right and whatever. And you will 
be graded for the rest of your life and the rest of your career, I guess, of doing it that one way. And it's like, how does that even work? And then if you look at other countries, other countries do it a completely different way. And so, and all, we're actually all getting completely different answers. And it's like, it sounds a little ridiculous of like how this started a depression wave for me, but to me, it just completely said everything that we know in math is wrong and it's never right. Um, there's so many different ways of doing something. It's like we don't know which way is the actual way and so mathematicians and math teachers just constantly teach it a different way depending on how they think it should be. That's pretty messed up in my opinion. Or also watching other people on the internet telling each other to go kill themselves over a stupid math answer. What's wrong with y'all? What the heck? But to me, it was just saying, no matter what we do in life, any math equation or math formula we come up is going to be later disproven or taught a different way and everybody's going to have completely different answers. Nobody knows what's the actual right way. And I don't know, it just kind of screamed to me like, we don't know anything. We're just teaching lies. We're just assuming, but we're going to make you think that this is the absolute way and, you know, cause people to tell each other to go kill each other or whatever over something so stupid. And it's the same with science. Like I've always had this understanding that whatever science we have now is not completely correct. What always happens is like someone will discover something, they'll write it down and we'll make new things based off that new information. And then suddenly years and years later, someone else will come along and they will take that old scientific information that was discovered and fix it. Basically like changing and like, oh, improving it. This is something that you missed. And that always happens. And sometimes the new information they come up with is also like even further away from the truth or something. So I just feel like we're just constantly teaching each other lies and that nothing we know is right. We're just completely lost. Like, don't get me wrong, like science has gotten us such a far away. Like we have such a better way of living these days, but like we're never gonna be completely right. And I don't know, it just kind of bothers me that we're forcing so much knowledge upon each other if we're just gonna change it and then not even tell each other. And then like, I don't even know. And that's what started my depression wave this time was just thinking like, oh, we're just in school to learn lies. And then once we leave school, they're gonna change the lies and then call us stupid for not knowing the new lies. That's kind of like what I was thinking. And so it just really bothered me. And whenever I have like a depression wave, it will always go up, like peak up even higher because of where I live. I'm living in Idaho and the town that I live in is a complete crap hole. I hate it. And I have no friends here. I have my husband, I have my pets, that's it. All the friends that I keep making, we all have the same mindset of we hate this place. We don't like the college we go to very much. I mean like it's not a terrible college. All colleges are going to be kind of the same in a, a way, but like the people that it attracts, um, the type of, I don't even know, but like Everything about this town is really depressing, my opinion, and every friend that I continuously try to make ends up leaving. They'll change colleges, or they'll move, or they'll drop out, and I just recently lost my last friend, and she left, and, you know, I still talk to her and everything, and then, like, I have friends back home in Texas that are like, oh, if you ever need to talk to us, like, we're right here, and it's like, well, thanks, but, like, I feel like that actually makes my depression wave worse because I think, right, I still have no friends here. They're all, like, back home in Texas. And then like, it lasted for the majority of the day. Um, I kind of want to go back into therapy. My husband and I were discussing it, maybe that we should try going into the school's um, program for that because they let students do it for free. We don't have to pay anything. And I did it before. And then after I stopped, my depression suddenly decided to get worse again. So I think it's something I want to do again once I go back to school because I can't do it now because I'm off track and the school won't help me with anything if I'm off track, which is really retarded, even though I'm still enrolled at their school, but whatever. So one thing, like the, the way that I ended up getting out of my depression wave is that I 
got my husband to go with me and we went to Walmart and we just goofed around and made an adventure. That's what helps me. Like, I love going out with friends and having an adventure and I had him do that with me and it helped. And so, I don't know, like, everybody deals with different things in different ways. Goodness gracious. Burrito, are you okay? I don't know. Um, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna try to like wrap this up real quickly. I want to know like different ways that other people kind of work with their depression, because like I know one thing is like you try to find kind of the source of it, what's what is helping and what is not helping. But a big part of what is not helping is the place that I live, and I can't get out of it for the next like two years. Like I can like leave for a little bit, but then I have to come back, you know. So I would love to know what other people do to like help their depression whether it's like medication or if it's going out with other people because I think a big part of mine is I need some friends and that sounds really really sad but it's just like I said every friend that I keep making hates this place just as much as I do and they leave they give up and they just leave or not give up some of them actually fulfill their dreams and go to a different college I would love to go to a different college like my dream college is in Florida but it's too expensive and I'll never go to it so I just feel like I need to get out of this town because I have never felt so awful in my life. Like last summer I went home to Texas and it was a little miserable just because I was working two jobs and doing an online college class and I just never did anything and I never got to go out with my friends. But after I quit one of my jobs and then I finished the online class and I still had a, a bit of time left before I had to come back to Idaho, I got to be my friends and I started to feel better and I was like going out more and I feel like I just need to get out more and meet people but the th problem is, is like this place attracts so many I don't know so many terrible Mormons no offense to these people but Mormon culture is horrible it's Mormon culture isn't the religion it's this it's like a lifestyle that people take things from being Mormon and then twist it into something that's pretty awful and it's like that's what people find to be what the cult like thing is the religion is not the cult the Mormon culture is the cult because it's not the actual like true doctrine and whatnot and so this place attracts a lot of people like that like this college if you're not married you get set on a curfew for midnight if you break that curfew and like you get tattled on by your roommates because they encourage your roommates to tattle on you if you do anything wrong like if you're having sex in the apartment and like that's completely against the religion like that would make sense but breaking curfew we're adults a lot of us are like 25 or something I'm only 20 but still we shouldn't be treated like such a child and so and then also encouraging others to tattle on each other like one of my first friends and I made his roommates except for two of them they all hated me because I would break curfew that was it they hated me because I broke curfew and I was completely like dumbfounded it's just like are you serious it's something that shouldn't even be on us and yeah it's like a rule given to us but it's like it's only applied to you if you are not married and you live in um, an apartment that is approved or a, an apartment that is owned by the college which is almost every single apartment you will find here which is pretty depressing I don't know like it's just so many people with such strong ideologies I guess of what it means to be the perfect Mormon and that gets to the point where that's all they care about like I went on a date with a guy once here and the only thing he wanted to talk about was Mormonism like he asked me what kind of Mormons do you hang out with back home and I'm like none I don't know but it gets to the point where I just want to avoid them all I don't want to be friends with any of them because I can't actually be me with them without being judged over something stupid like breaking a curfew but now I'm married so I don't have to follow that anymore but still it's really degrading and this place makes me feel trapped and feel like that I can't be trusted that I don't and it peaks that depression you know I've never had such a problem with it before I've never had it before in my life until about two years ago all right, well my camera's dying I'm gonna go charge it I'm not like depressed right now I'm just tired <laughs>
but I'm like, I want to talk about depression and a lot of YouTubers that I love watching, they call YouTube their therapy because they get to just talk to the camera. And so I think I really want to give that a try, you know? And if anybody else is kind of going through this, I would love to hear what you guys have to say, what you guys do that help, because it's, it's getting to the point where I feel like it's really eating me up, you know?